the United States Marine Corps leader of the game, Godwin Iguibuque. And uh, number 16 for the Wildcats. Just saw some of your highlights, some very memorable moments for you. And, and you kind of nodded your head when I talked about this secondary of the Wildcats. Oh, no doubt. I mean, we got a lot of guys coming back. As you know, it's a very talented group, um, very deep group. So even all offseason, we've been battling. Some guys trying to take some starting spots. You know, we got guys coming back. Keith Watkins, I'm sure you know, uh, great athlete. He's, he's really motivated and ready to show what he has. So I'm really excited about what we're going to do this year with that group. Watch out. God, when you mentioned uh, the talent in that room, yeah. how do you continue to improve? How do you continue to, to push each other? There's so much talent, probably the mm -hmm. deepest position group on the team. What are some of the things that you're doing to push each other and not rest on your laurels? Well, I mean, you really can't take a seat back because there's so much competition in there. You know, so much talent. Like I said, we got guys battling for positions, guys trying to prove themselves. Uh, we got young guys stepping up, um, veterans trying to, trying to make sure everyone's staying on their wraps. You know, we're in the weight room pushing each other. I mean, the best games we've had, and since I've been here, guys putting on massive weight, pounds, muscle, you know. So it's been really cool to see. Also, motive each other out here, having fun. Um, you know, that's what it's all about in the end. But it's uh, the camaraderie is, is really awesome. I think it's one of the more special groups on the team. Um, the team itself is, is very close, and I think we have a lot to do with that as a Christian group. So it's really cool. Have you heard the legends of Dan Purse <laughs> in the weight room? I haven't heard the legends of Dan Person in the weight room. They've been washed away. They've been washed away. <laughs> <laughs> He's making the new legends. <laughs> God, when you look at the safeties on this team, yourself, Kyle, uh, last year we saw Jared McGee make some big yeah. plays. And, in fact, if you go back to the pinstripe ball, you guys each, yes, each sir. of you had an interception. You had one yes, in the sir. end zone or down near the end zone. Mm -hmm. uh, Jared had one in the end zone to uh, kill a Pittsburgh drive late in the game that Kyle came up with one. Uh, Obviously, it's been a team that's taken the ball away a lot. You got a lot of interceptions last year. How much is that uh, something that you pride yourselves on? I mean, it's definitely what you pride yourself on. Um, as we all know, turnover ratio is huge in winning games. And towards the end of the season, we picked up that a lot. You know, a lot of that, you know, came from the DB group. So we're very proud of that. And that's something that uh, the coaches hark on a lot. Even out here, you see we're doing... Um, to start practice off, we're trying to do rips and strip drills just to continue to increase that turnover ratio. Uh, we know that helps us win games. You know, we've had some success in the past, like you said, and hopefully continue that into next season. Godwin, I think a lot of fans know you. They know Kyle. Uh, they know Keith Watkins. Who's a guy, a young guy, that you're really looking forward to, to seeing on the field in 2017 that most people might not know about? Uh, I mean, you better get me in trouble. I can't be calling people out like this, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you saw you saw a little bit of Trey, you saw a little bit of Montre. Um, you didn't see much of Zo. Uh, he got in there a couple times here and there, but you know that we call him Zoo. I Man's an animal. Man got out. He's gonna get out this year. <laughs> so we're, I'm really excited to see what he does when he gets the opportunity. Like I said, the room is very deep. Um, but it's football. People Absolutely. get hurt, people get injured. Yep. You got to be ready to step up. And that's one guy that's going to be ready to step up when it comes. He's going to make some plays. So. Alonzo Mayo, uh, yes, Robert sir. Campbell, another young guy played. Yep. Yep. You mentioned Montre Hardage. Um, terrific. Came up with four interceptions late in the season yeah. for you. Uh, Trey Williams has been hurt this spring, but uh, another guy who played a lot started for you last yes, year. Yes, but Keith Watkins' return, God, I mean, to have him back, and you talked about this at the beginning, what does that mean? Man, it means the most. Uh, he's one of my best friends, you know, on this campus. So, you know, coming in with him, uh, we, I played against him in high school. Knew he was a freak athlete then. He hasn't had his time to shine yet, but I'm telling you right now, that man is the truth. And I think you guys are going to figure that out this season. Uh, hope to God he stays healthy, and when he does, um, he's going to have a breakout season. Yeah, I think, how, how's Keith doing? How's, how's the rehab coming out? I think a lot of people are curious about that. Yeah, um, he's doing really well. He's a very uh, motivated guy. You know, he's in there every day doing what he has to do, you know, doing extras. Um, he's always been, you know, very uh, emotionally stable. He, he gives us energy. You know, his, he's always working on with a smile on his face. It's almost infectious, you know what I'm saying? That's just the guy he is. That's his character. And um, just having him back and having him around the, around the group is making us even more better, even without his talent. Just him as a person has really uh, helped us out a lot. So, man, I'm just really excited for him. 
Final question. You had, obviously, the opportunity to consider going to the National Football League. You opted to come back. What made you decide to come back? Um, I mean, a lot of it was just, you know, obviously following your intuition and following your gut and your heart. And, um, you know, it really felt like I was being, you know, pushed to and the wise decision was to come back, you know, come back for this for this team, you know, obviously my own personal goals and minds, you know, uh, have an opportunity to rise in the ranks and have opportunity to prove myself even more, you know, out here. Um, we want to win a Big Ten championship. And we all got we all got a great feeling right now. We're really pushing ourselves, and I'm having a lot of fun. I'm so happy I made a decision to come back. It's been, it's been a great decision. Um, I love these guys, and uh, it's... It's going to be a great ride. It's going to be a great ride. Well, we're glad, too. Great to see you, and the best of luck in 2017 and the Wildcats. Thank Safety you. Godwin, Igor Buque with us here. And we'll